What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video, today we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 3, we're going to dive straight back in with a fight against Gavin Smith, this dude is 6-4, and four, a pretty decent fight for Carlos Martinez's UFC debut, a quick little disclaimer, I am very under the weather, you probably can tell a little bit, I am t a tiny tiny bit bunged up, I've got a bit of a sore throat, but the grind must continue man, these videos are my favourite to film, I love filming the UFC stuff, so we're going to dive in. We have a new person joining the gym today. We have one of you guys dropping down a suggestion on what character you want to be made. And he is going to be training with Carlos Martinez for his fights in today's episode. And he will probably get a career mode later down the line. Now if you guys do have any suggestions on any characters you want to see in the UFC career modes in the future. Uh, whether it be your character, whether it be a character you thought of in your head. I need uh, basically how he looks. Skin colour, hair colour, hair style. If he's got any facial hair, if it's uh, if it's a male or female, we can do female fighters as well. Uh, I need their kind of backstory. I've been saying this a lot in the comments. I need to know their backstory, just because um, it kind of adds a little bit of storyline to their uh, to their character, you know. And it's kind of interesting to see what you guys come up with. I actually, I actually, I can't speak. I, I'm just so ill. I actually love reading you guys' comments. It's so much fun, man. Like I really do appreciate all the love and support. Enough talking, just. Love and support and good shit, man. We're going to get into the training. Let's go and train with our new character. And uh, hopefully, we can get this win. Let's get it. Okay, so the new guy that has joined the gym is Marcus Cruz. This dude is a freaking beast. He's really going to train and help train uh, Carlos Martinez. He's a very good striker. He's a bit of a brawler. But here we go. He's a lot bigger than Carlos as well. He's in the weight class above. I believe he is a lightweight. And Carlos is obviously a featherweight. But this is going to be a very interesting fight. I feel like these guys are going to be really good friends. Could you see, or could you want to see, a career mode with Cruz down the line? Obviously, Martinez will still have a long way to go. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you'd like to see Cruz in his own career down the line. He has a very interesting backstory. Coming all the way from Philadelphia, he is a freaking beast. Oh, a nice front kick there. It's kind of hard to talk a lot and uh, focus, I guess. But there you go. This guy is obviously a striker as well with Carlos Martinez, and um, I mean, it's just an interesting matchup. These dudes are probably going to be like the bestest of friends. He hasn't long joined the gym, and now he's already preparing Martinez for a big fight. Gets rocked there, though. A beautiful head kick for Cruz there. Martinez showing immense heart, though. Let's go. Head kick lands. Let's go. Let's go. The taunt and then the head kick. That is his famous move. He's done it in his debut fight for the WFA. There we go. Cracking these guys. So he at the minute is a training partner, but if you'd like to see him get his own career, Please let me know down in the comments below. I will also be adding a bunch more of you guys. All you have to do is let me know what kind of character, what you want him to look like. Basically, all the good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this dude actually sent me a picture. Big shout-out to Weedy Squirrel for uh, sending me this man. A big, big shout-out. And uh, that is kind of what we're seeing here. An actual picture I had to go off of the character. And uh, there we go. Anyway, the training session is over. Let's get into our next fight. Hopefully, we can get another win in our UFC debut. Let's get it. Okay, so just before we're about to lace up the gloves, go out there and try and put on a good performance for hey our everyone, debut. I'm Megan what is good, Megan? This is your UFC minute. The UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. Oh boy! When UFC president Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. Here he is, man. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local featherweight circuit en route to his UFC debut this weekend. Here he is, man. This is the biggest fight in his career so far. Right, Obviously, on. having a prospect of a uh, brother in the boxing world, all eyes are on Carlos Martinez tonight. Can he be as popular and as good of a fighter as his brother is in boxing? We are about to find out. If you guys do want to check out his brother's career mode in the Fight Night Champion Legacy Mode series on my channel at the minute, please feel free. It's kind of cool tying them in together. But here we go. We are fighting Gavin Smith, 6-4, and four, pretty seasoned veteran. He's had quite a lot of fights. 23-18. Got that height over him. Got that weight over him by a pound. Or well, it's not even a pound what I'm talking about. And uh, the reach, oh my god. We are going to bully him with this reach. Let's go. I think he might be a little bit of a grappler though. I'm not actually too sure. But here we go. Martinez with his debut. Let's go. Oh, good shot there. Only landed one nice body shot, though. Okay. Let's go. Nice. What do you got, man? Nice. Uppercut. Oh, 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 he's rocked. Okay. What do you got? Stunned already. That's not a good sign for this dude. Especially with the accuracy and power of Carlos Martinez. Body strike. 
Beautiful shots landing as he's chasing him around the ring. Trying to shoot for a takedown. Got to stay tight. He's hurt, man. Oh, nice. Backs up. Nice. Tried to straight. Nice block there from Martinez. So far, he's staying calm, which is a good thing in his debut. You kind of want that. Tried to overhand there. That would have been nice. Body kick lands. Let's go. He's doing a very good job at controlling distance, but he didn't see that coming. Let's go. Martinez all over and now sends him down. Tries the leg kick. He gets taken down. Now, this is Martinez's problem. Doesn't have great ground game. Can he get back to his feet? He can. Nice. Okay, in the southpaw stance. Head kick. Oh, beautiful. He is hurt. He's still hurt. Martinez just realizing. Pouring it on here. Good body shot. Okay, he's not really throwing. I don't know what this is about. Oh, oh, oh. Martinez making it a rough one, but he gets taken back down. Can he get back to his feet? He can. All damn day, baby. Let's go. Back in the orthodox stance. I still think this is going to be a first round knockout. Oh, he baited him in with a head kick. He goes down. He's down. Carlos Martinez in his debut. 1-0 in the UFC. Gets it done. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. Let's go. To land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it. The man himself. See the replay and probably shake Beautiful his shot sends really him down. That wasn't even a shot, was it? Okay, it was, yeah, because he bounced his head off the canvas. Martinez pressures, gets the, the knockout finish. Beautiful, the beautiful the shot there through the guard. A big win for Carlos Martinez in his debut. Do we get any bonuses from that, Dana? Please, man. I think we deserve something. Let's see, though. Let's see. I doubt we're going to get like a performance of the night. It'd be very nice, but we'll see, I guess. Did we get anything? We didn't get anything for that. Are you kidding me? We just smoked the geezer. But there you go. That is fine. We're going to get into the next fight. I wonder who they're going to offer us. I know it is a bit early in our career, obviously making our UFC debut in episode number two. Um, but yeah, Carlos Martinez really putting on a big, big show tonight. That is why they call him the shotgun. He hits like a freaking truck. A first round knockout in his debut. Could he have asked for a better debut? Probably. I mean, if he'd have just gone out there and hit him with one punch. But there you go. Impressive win, Shotgun Martinez. Where do you go next? Uh, thanks, Megan. I'm going to keep working hard and doing my best to get better. That is what we're going to be doing. Um, I feel like we could do that and uh, keep progressing to be a very, very good threat in this featherweight division. But here we go. Let's get into the next fight. 4 0 now. Absolutely tearing things up in the UFC so far. Let's see who they offer us. I want to get another big fight, and uh, hopefully we can get another win. Okay, so Xavier Grant, 3-2, 5-2, and two, five and two, or 5-1. and one. We're going to go for the 5-2 and two dude just because he's got some good grappling, and I feel like that is our only weakness, really. When, our, when we're on our feet, we do tend to get a lot of wins. So we're going to go and uh, we're going to go and take the hardest fight, I believe, anyway. He's got better grappling than us, so it should be a very interesting one. We're going to dive in, and let's see how we get on. Okay, so as this next dude is a very good grappler, Carlos Martinez decided to bring in the help of Zafir Ali, and uh, we're going to hopefully try and cut him off. This dude is a bigger dude. He is in a higher weight class than Carlos. This dude, I believe, is a lightweight, and Carlos is obviously a featherweight. The same as Marcus Cruz, uh, but here we go. Carlos looking to just get inside, pick his shots nicely, try and wait for these takedowns. He is cracking Zafir a little bit here. Let's go. So yeah, would you like to see Zafir as a career mode character in the future? Please let me know. If you do want to see your own character, please let me know what you want him to look like, what you want his storyline to be. Here we go. Look, Carlos Martinez does have a little bit of a storyline in the fact that he's, uh, his brother is a boxer and he is an MMA fighter. And we're kind of comparing the two careers to see who is the best fighter out of the two brothers. But here we go. The fear not really shooting for takedowns here. I believe it is because of the actual like volume that Martinez is throwing. He's really, really keeping the pressure and uh, it's kind of making it hard for Zafir to actually land some shots here. Look at these shots from Martinez. Lovely body kick there. He's very good with his body kicks. Oh, a beautiful shot from Zafir, though. Sends Carlos to the canvas. Let's go. He's been rocked twice in his last two uh, training sessions now. Kind of worrying, man. Seeing it now you're in the UFC, and we're fighting a lot better fighters. It's kind of scary, not going to lie. But there we go. A well-timed head kick there from Zafir. Drops uh, Carlos here. But they are going at it, these guys. Let's go. Nice, he gets one back though. Can he get the finish? I don't think he can. Is he out? I don't think so. I don't, what's happening? 
Okay, well, I think it's glitched, but I could just keep punching. Okay, now he's up. What the fuck? Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to get into the fight. That is going to be the training session over. A very, very good training session. Two knockdowns from either man in that session. Let's get into the actual fight. Hopefully, we can get a win. A very tough grappler. Let's go. Here we go. Price v. Martinez. This dude is a decent grappler. It's going to be an interesting fight because if it does stay on the feet, Martinez will definitely get the win. If it goes to the ground, it's going to be a tough night for Carlos. But here we go. In our second UFC fight, we got that reach. We got that height. Way about the same. He's a little bit older, a little bit more experienced in terms of his fights as well. But here we go. Martinez, the undefeated prospect. Let's get it. Off the bat, head kick, man. Let's go. And a body kick. Carlos really utilizing these kicks. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Who wants it now? Who wants it now, man? We throw these smart kicks. We throw some back. Let's go. Nice hook there. Cuts him off. He has got some good grappling. I don't know why he's not utilizing it. I really don't. Head kick puts him down. Beautiful kick to the face there. Let's go. Oh. Yamasaki standing him up. Let's go. Every time he comes in, Carlos looking for that big shot. I know it's there. He leans in. Trying to just bait him in here. Carlos has got the power to end this in one shot. Can he do it, though? Nice hook. Leg kick. Beautiful. Okay, clipped him with the overhand. Didn't really do much. Nice. Just trying to stay calm a little bit. He's busted open. Elbow lands, let's go. Oh, down again. What do you got? Is this it? Is this all you got? Oh, nice. Head kick again. Elbow drops him. Oh, he's down. Carlos standing over him. Still wants to fight. Gets him in the clinch. This could be a bad idea for Carlos. Body. To the knee. To the knee. To the body. Let's go. Nice. Price getting dominated in this fight so far. Martinez really showing off some skill. A big knockout. Look at him. He's in a heap on the floor. Martinez with another big win tonight. Another first round finish. What a win. It couldn't have been more flawless. Big hook there as he slams down to the canvas. Out cold. Boom. Kaboom. Dropped him with a beautiful elbow as well. Perfectly timed. See him coming in. Kaboom. Dropped him. Probably my favourite knockdown of that fight, to be honest. We did knock him down a bunch. Carlos Martinez picks up his second win in the octagon. Landing again. So many strikes thrown in such a small amount of time. This dude is a real big volume puncher. And when you have power like he does, it can be scary. He throws a lot of punches. And the thing is... It's not like one or two you have to worry about. It's like 50 in a few minutes. And obviously some of them 50 are going to land. And then some of them 50 may even put you to sleep. As we see there. So his biggest test he passed with flying colours. Like the grappler I thought was going to give him a little bit more uh, trouble. In the terms of the takedown and stuff. I thought he was going to take him down. At least try and get a submission. But you know what Carlos kept it standing. Managed to drop him left right and centre. And got the KO win. Let's go. A big big win there for good old Carlos Martinez. Let's get into the next one, man. We're not that long in this episode. We can go again. We're going to go again, and uh, hopefully we can get another win here. Let's see who they offer us, though. 5-0 and now, Carlos Martinez really making waves in this weight class so far. I don't think we're anywhere near in terms of a real fighter, but uh, it would be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? Okay, so we've got Lawson Soto, 5-2. and two. Dalian Silva, 4-1 uh, and one even. Uh, and Nam Choi, who's 5-3. and three. We're going to go for this dude. He has, again, pretty good grappling. 4 and 1. Let's go. Here's going to be the next fight. 5 and 0, 4 and 1. It's the same amount of fights. It's just Carlos has won them all. Let's get into the next one, man. Let's get this training session underway and let's get it. Okay, so here we go into the next fight. I was going to show the training, but you know what? I feel like we should cut it out every now and again. I don't want to show it every single fight cuz it could probably get a little bit boring. But here we go. Carlos Martinez ready to fight Silva. 4 and 1, 5 and 0. Oh. He looks angry. Now, something you can probably tell from his brother and him, he is a lot more aggressive, Carlos Martinez. George Martinez will sit back, pick his shots, wait for a counter. But uh, Carlos Martinez kind of goes for it. He really does go for it. Trust to knock you out in record time. Here we go. We are fighting Dallin Silva. Entering the octagon now. He has got some decent grappling. It's going to be an interesting matchup for sure. 26-18. Decent height, decent reach over him again. 
That is obviously going to come into a big, big factor in this fight. Let's go. Touching gloves. Oh, we tried to kick straight away. Bro, you don't want to do that shit. You don't want to do that. Oh, rocking in the leg kick early. Jeez. Okay. Going to work them legs then. Okay. Going to try and stay calm this fight. It's really going to pick my shots. Nice. Nice. Okay. Beautiful leg kick. Okay, good straight. I wanted to throw an uppercut there. Really working them legs. Really working them legs, baby. Let's go. Tried to throw a head kick. Didn't work out. That's all good. Nice jab there from Carlos. Let's go. Step straight. Body strike. Nice. Starting to be a little bit more calm. He's getting used to the UFC. Used to the bright lights. And all the fans watching. Nice distance control there. Let's go. He's down. What do you guys? Is that it? Oh, leg kick, really? Oh, let's go, man. They're calling the shotgun for a reason, man. This is why. This dude's a beast. Oh, bro. This is over. This is over. Trying to put him down with an elbow there. Another leg kick as he backs away. Let's go. Nice strike there. Let's go, man. Trying to bait him in with that overhand a little bit. See, the problem is, Silva's kind of giving Martinez the room to move. Beautiful counter there. It wasn't even a counter. It was more like a step in. Okay. Oh, lovely slip, though. That would have really hurt if that overhand had landed. Okay, Martinez is going to push forward here. Land some more leg kicks. Trying to take away his movement here. Let's go. Nice. Try to land the elbow. Pick it away. Beautiful, beautiful shots here from Carlos. It's kind of an interesting fight because this dude is very, very elusive. Again, slips the uh, slips the overhand. Let's go. Nice, putting the pressure on him and then stepping off. Beautiful. Good defense there. Tried the head kick. That would have been a nice one. Nice counter straight there though. He's hurt. Leg kicks again, man. Chopping up them legs with these kicks. Let's go. Nice body kick. Again. I've oh, got a plan. We keep going to the body, we keep going to the legs, but we haven't gone to the head yet. So we're going to go to the head in a second, see how we do. Oh, he's down. He's out. Beautiful, beautiful tactician work there by Carlos Martinez. He thought it was a body strike and he bit the dust because of it. Let's go. Another big win for Carlos Martinez. Why head kick sent into oblivion. He thought it was coming to the body. It cracked into the dome. Perfect, perfect accuracy there. Watch him cover up the body. He thought it was going there. Cut boom to the face. He got used to the body strikes and the leg kicks. He is out cold. Big shot on the ground. Boom. Out cold here. Carlos Martinez scoring another big win in his career. Probably the best win he's got so far. Really, really got him used to the body kicks and the leg kicks. He thought another one was coming. It came upstairs and knocked him out cold. Let's go, baby. Another big win. Again, 105 shots thrown in that fight. That small time. Nearly went to the second round. I think that would be the first person that's ever gone to the second round with Carlos. But there you go. I think we can cram another fight in. You know what? They've all been first round finishes. Uh, so yeah, I think we can get another one in. That by far was the best knockout win I think we've ever got. Um, yeah, that, that was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, it, I, I don't know about best knockout win ever, but I think that is the best knockout uh, win in this career mode so far. Perfectly timed head kick, sent into the canvas, finished him on the ground. A big win for Carlos Martinez again. Let's go. So we're going to get another fight in. I do think I'm probably going to miss out the training just because I don't want it to be too repetitive and uh, I want to make more of you guys. So I'm going to be doing that in the build up to next uh, episode three. My throat is terrible, man. Like, I do apologize if I do sound, like, uninterested or anything. I am so excited to play this game, as always. I just sound like absolute shit. So, I do apologize for that. But we're going to dive into the next uh, fight. I don't know who it is going to be. I wouldn't mind the real fight. But here we go. We've got Harvey Fisher, who is 4 and 3. We have Jalen Russo, who is 7 and 4. And uh, Ryan Smith, who is 5 and 3. We're going to go with the 7 and 4, dude. He has the most uh, wins. 
So we're going to go up him. That is going to be the next fight. Let's get it, man. Let's get another big win for Carlos Martinez. 6-0. and Let's get it. Okay, so apparently this dude is a grappler. So this is going to be a very interesting one. We're going to see how this goes. Um, if he gets this to the canvas, I'm not going to be too worried, to be honest. I mean, he has decent grappling. He's not amazing. Obviously, he's not no Khabib. But here we go. Martinez in his seventh professional fight as a MMA fighter. Can he get another one done today? I kind of hope so, but here we go. Russo entering the octagon. Let's see the tail of the tape. 29-19. Ten-year difference. Jeez. He's a little bit taller. And we've got a little bit more reach. But here we go. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, man. Let's go. Martinez, Russo. Here we go. Fainting in the takedowns already. Good uppercut. Going to try and work these legs. As always, chopping up them lead legs. Let's go. Got to kind of be a little bit careful here. Nice. Tried the head kick. Okay. Nice pressure. Beautiful leg kick there too. Martinez staying calm, cool, collected. Tried the uppercut there. I think it did land. Another leg kick. Beautiful, beautiful kicking game here, man. Jeez. He's going to shoot for a takedown too, man. He's getting desperate on the feet. He's getting lit up, man. He needs to shoot for a takedown. Head kick drops him. Let's go. Beautiful strike there. Martinez pushing him up against the cage. Leg kick lands. Nice body strike there too. Bro, Martinez is a force to be reckoned with. A knockout artist. Nice jab hook there. Oh, nice. Nice from Russo. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful time in there. Rolling that shot over. Oh, lovely slip there. Let's go. Okay. Tried to throw the body kick. Oh, a nice head kick for Russo. Martinez is rock. He's been susceptible to that head kick all in his episodes, man. Cruz stunned him with it. Zafir dropped him with it. And now Russo has stunned him in a fight. Oh, he goes down, though. Martinez saying, what have you got, man? Is this it? Go for a takedown mode. This could be where he has problems. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Nice. Got straight back up there. Beautiful. Overhand clips in. Let's go. Beautiful. Lovely timing on the overhand here. Martinez chopping up them legs. Body kick. Nice shot to the head. Russo's head health is a... It's just in bits, man. I think he tried the spinning back fist there. Didn't work out for him. Tried the leg kick there. Nice. Oh, nice. Good shot from Russo, though. Overhand cracks him. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? What was that? Okay. Martinez backing off. This dude wants to go to the ground. Stand him up, Eve. Let's go. Nice timing there by Martinez on the end of that kick. Let's go. And there again he goes down. Martinez puts him out with 22 seconds remaining in round one. Beautiful, beautiful accuracy. Beautiful precision. He gets it done again. Martinez, what a beast in this fight. Beautiful timing. Steps in. Boom. Down to the canvas you go. Out cold. Lovely, lovely time in there. Cracking him. Kaboom. Left himself open from the kick. And uh, we got him. We got him. I was hoping he'd take me down a little bit more and kind of test Martinez on the ground. But that is it, man. That is what it is. We took him out. He did stun us, though. Give him some sort of credit. He did stun Martinez. His very first rock in a, uh, in a professional fight. He's been dropped in training. He's been rocked in training. But he hasn't actually been knocked uh, uh, knocked down. Knocked, uh, like, rocked and shit. So there you go. I mean, give him some credit. He did expose some weakness. We do need to watch out for them head kicks when we're fighting as Martinez. Uh, but apart from that, man, Martinez has been super, super solid in this episode. What I'm going to do, guys, is end today's video in a second. But if you do want your character to be in the next video of uh, this series, please let me know down in the comments what you want him to look like. Hair color. 
um, skin color, where you want him to be from, what sort of style you want him to be, whether it be a grappler, a submission specialist, a striker, a brawler, a well-rounded fighter, let me know down in the comments below. You can also be letting me know by following me on Twitter and actually sending me a photo of the guy uh, you want made, so I can actually get a one-to-one -one photo comparison, kind of like what I did with Marcus Cruz and Weedy Squirrel. So uh, yeah, anyway guys, take it easy, I'm going to end it here. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you for more EA Sports UFC 3 next time. So tell some guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you all again in the next video.